All right, what is up, everybody? It is Evan and Bacon from Expo. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use uh, Facebook in your applications called the Graph Get User Information. But let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is go to a new snack.expo.io, and then we're going to scan on in. So get your handy dandy phones out and scan that application. Now you should be good to go, mirroring what you are coding. Now we are going to go to uh, developers.facebook.com from here you are going to want to go to my apps and add a new app okay so let's go ahead and give it a name this name is going to be um, Charlie Chatter uh, tr yeah there we go this is where you guys find out I am actually a robot alright once you have passed that impossible test go over to settings and basic and you'll get your app ID now we can go back over here to your snack and let's just go ahead and add this somewhere we go ahead and add ID like that all right so after we set up the page next thing we want to do is add a platform so let's go ahead and add iOS right here for our bundle ID we'll just go ahead and pop in host.exp.exponent very simply do that if we were doing an Android app, we could go ahead, hit Android, and then under key hashes right here, you're going to want to add the Expo key hash, which is this, lowercase r, capital R, W, plus plus, capital L, capital U, J, M, capital Z, capital Z, plus 5, 8, capital E. Very memorable. It'll be in the description below. All right, hit save changes, and we should be good to go. Cool. So we need a few things in here. To test this, we're going to need a button to click on, and then we are going to call the Facebook SDK using the Expo Facebook module, and then we are going to get a token from that after we request a few permissions. And then we are going to call the graph with that token and get some user information from it. If we wanted to add Firebase, then we could go ahead and sign in with that credential. First thing we're going to want to do is add a login function. Let's go ahead and make this an async function. All right, next thing we're going to want to do is add that button we were talking about so that we can test our sign in. Uh, for this, we are just going to be using touchable opacity, view, and text. Go ahead and bring in a touchable opacity and let's go ahead and create that touchable opacity and then a view inside of that and then some text inside of that all right cool then log in to facebook i'm going to make this try and match the facebook style let's call style give this the color white on our text let's see if we can get this back up and running what's going on here i see we have used the wrong braces Maybe we'd cut this card out and we used our button instead. So right now you see we have the button. It looks like that. Just going to go ahead and reference uh, that login function that we made. So let's call a login. And because I can't help myself, I'm going to go ahead and add the style here. I'm going to give this a width of 50% of the container, border radius of 4, and then padding of that are like 24 then we'll go ahead and give it the Facebook color which is uh, 3b5998 and it should look something like that change this title up here to um, uh, I don't know like welcome to our app alright if we go ahead and push this button you see nothing happens but actually it's calling this login function that we have over here to actually log into Facebook we need to do a couple of things actually we just need to do one thing it's very simple so let's go ahead and import Expo from Expo and Expo provides us with a pretty awesome Facebook module to use that Facebook module we would call await Expo dot Facebook dot and then log in with read permissions async um, I'm gonna go ahead and type that whole thing out just kidding I'm gonna copy it and paste it then we need to add our ID our Facebook ID which we got earlier and then we're gonna add some parameters these specifically will be our permissions our permissions will be an array of things that we would like to request that we get access to for instance really popular ones are like public profile email and then sometimes user friends so we'll go email and then user friends no 
other th important thing to note is that when you sign in, you will only be able to sign in with your Facebook account that is the developer on top of this unless you go ahead and add them to that app on the developer.facebook page. Otherwise, you'll see some error about it not being in uh, not being in production mode or something. Let's go ahead and uh, get the information that's passed back. When we do actually sign in, that'll pass back type and token. From here, we can see if the uh, login type is equal to success. Um, if it's not, then we'll just pass an error. Um, or we can just send an alert to the screen. Uh, so like if we try it now and we cancel out, you see we'll get an alert and the alert was type cancel. Pretty interesting, right? So we can handle that. Um, but if it's type success, then we will have our auth token and we'll be ready to go ahead and sign in or call the graph and get information. So let's go ahead and call the graph really quickly. Uh, to call the graph, we are going to create a URI. So let's say response is assigned a wait and then fetch. So we're going to be using the fetch API, which is provided with React Native, and that will allow us to call a, uh, a URL and get information back from it. I have the string copied off over here, and this will be the tokenized string that we use to call the data. Uh, essentially, this is graph.facebook.com, me, and then we pass through our access token, which is the token we got right here, and then our fields, which will be ID, name, email, about, and picture. That's what we want to get back from this response. So let's go ahead and console log this information when we get it back so we can see what we would be looking at. From here we would get the response, but the response won't be in the right shape for us to parse. So we want that to be in JSON. So to do that we're going to do response.json. Very easy. And we'll call await. So now we should have, if we console.log this information, this will be all of our user info. JSON. So now if we were to sign in, we would get all of the user's information. We would get their ID, name, email, about, and picture. One more thing that we would want to do, potentially, is authenticate with Firebase. Say we had a Firebase application and we wanted to log in with Facebook after we push this button. All we would do from here is import Firebase from Firebase, and then we would call firebase.auth.signin with credential in this we would pass in our token let's see what's going on over here fail to download the module firebase latest oh no did we just try that oh okay i see what the problem is right here okay cool so now we've downloaded firebase into our application over here, we're going to type Firebase auth sign in with credential. Then we're going to pass in the token that we got from right over here. And then that should be about it. We can put this into a try and catch in case we get like an error trying to log in. And if we do, then we can log that error right there. Pretty sweet, right? Okay, let's go ahead and test this bad boy out now. If you hit the login to Facebook button, you see we'll get this lovely login screen. We can log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in this account. Um, all right, so after we've logged in, you see that we will see this, uh, your public profile, friends list, and email address are what we want. And you see that's what we added over here in the permissions. So we're gonna say continue as Evan, and now we've logged in. If we go down over here and we click on this little red guy, you see that we are going to get, whoa, what's this? The user info that's printed after we get our response JSON. You see we get the ID, the name, our email. We have our picture over here, which is this data. It's going to have the height, which is 50, silhouette, nope, and then the URL. That's pretty awesome information that we got very simply from our user. We can actually go ahead and Throw that in there. You see, that is my UID image. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will link you guys to this snack. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments or go to our awesome forums or our Slack channel or Twitter or any, any means of contacting us. Thanks so much. I'm Ev Bacon. Ciao.